Hello, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by The National entitled Trouble Will Find Me. Here we go. So the National are an American rock band formed in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1999. They were quickly signed to Brassland Records and released their debut album in 2001. Since then they've been very prolific, releasing six albums and two EPs. This is their new album called Trouble Will Find Me and it was released on May 17th, 2013. This album starts off with a song called I Should Live in Salt and it's very soft and acoustic driven to start out with. With the tambourine keeping time and the sound of the vocals and the whole vibe of the song, I immediately thought of the Brian Jones Town Massacre. Although it's a little more polished and a little more high fidelity, that acoustic kind of psychedelic vibe is still there. It's a very easygoing song and the electric guitar swells in the background and the chorus really give it a little emphasis and really elevate the song into something more. I really like this song as the album opener, it really kind of eases you into the mood for the rest of the record. The first single from the album is a song called Demons and right away I immediately thought of Nick Cave when I heard the vocal performance. It's got that deep baritone kind of talk singing that Nick Cave does really well. He's clearly an influence on this track and with the chord changes and the melody in the chorus, this could easily be an outtake from his late 90s period. It could definitely be an outtake from maybe Murder Ballads or The Boatman's Call or something like that. I don't think they're trying to rip off Nick Cave but rather pay homage to him. And it's pretty clear that he's an influence on this band and this song really kind of showcases that. The song This Is The Last Time is very much a ballad sort of song. The instruments are very minimal which pretty much give way to the vocals of the song and sort of makes that the focus point. The drums are very interesting to me. They're not playing this straight beat, they're playing sort of this off rhythm across the toms. It gives the song this kind of cascading sort of feeling which just kind of flows throughout the whole song. It's sort of offbeat but it's very much in time with the track and that's definitely something that uh, stands out to me on this song. I think if those drums hadn't been there and if it was playing a different beat, the, al the song wouldn't be quite as interesting as it is. That's kind of really the glue that holds the whole thing together. The song I Need My Girl is a slower song as well. It starts off with this busy kind of guitar thing and in the vocals there's a sense of longing and pain in the voice. The way he sings the song and the way he describes these events that happened kind of lead me to believe that these are actually based on true stories. Either that or he's a really good storyteller and he's doing what a lot of singer-songwriters do which is just kind of taking on a character within the song. The album ends with the song Hard to Find which is a slower soft ballad kind of song. It's very gentle with the piano and the subtle electric guitar work and the drums kind of slowly come in and it just kind of builds up. It gives you a clear end point for the album as it kind of just trails off towards the end. It's kind of like the end of a movie where it leaves you behind with the characters as the credits kind of roll in. That's kind of how the song ends and I kind of feel like this song was meant to be the album closer. That's kind of how it was written. The production on this album is very well done. There's very very little mistakes, everything's mixed really well, and I feel like they spent a lot of time getting a really good mix and recording everything very meticulously. Uh, it doesn't feel like it was uh, sloppily put together, it feels like everything was pretty much planned out. To be honest, this album didn't really excite me as much as I wanted it to. Although there are a lot of good songs on here, I don't feel like anything really stood out to me or anything like that. I don't think there was a bad song on the album, but I don't think there was a really great one either. It just kind of lived up to the standard, but didn't really exceed it or anything like that. So for that reason, Reason, I'm going to give this album a 7 out of 10. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or with a video response. And if you'd like to suggest an album for me to review, please leave that in the comments as well. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.